Welcome to Japan Story. I'm Duncan Bartlett. One of the things that I really enjoy about Japan is the creativity and the energy of its people, particularly artistic people. And our guest on Japan Story this time tries to share that dynamism internationally. We're joined from Hiroshima by Mayumi Hirata. Mayumi, welcome to Japan Story. Hi, Duncan. Thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to talk to you. Mayumi, I want to talk to you about this wonderful series of photographs you've taken, the jump series. What happens when you ask someone to jump for your camera? I think it breaks the boundary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Everything changes and everyone relaxes and smiles and like energy like <laughs> explodes. So the picture makes it really interesting. They're a lot of fun. Let's go to Paris and this very striking image. It looks like a monster. Who's this? Um, he's one of the Oni Daiko dancer, performer. Oni is a demon and he wears demon mask and demon wig, long wig and demon costume. And they basically uh, dances in the demon outfit and plays taiko drums, traditional taiko drums, it, like Kodo, the musicians, they play, basically dance and play drums. And he also comes from Sado Island, where Kodo practices. And quite a lot of your photographs were taken in London, where you lived. Some of them represent the Japanese community in London. What were you trying to show about their lives? Japanese people come out from Japan, the island, little island Japan, to do something interesting or like challenge something outside Japan and in Europe, it's quite hard. Uh, but we all love it and we want to do something different. And I wanted to capture their passion and uh, power to do something different in a different environment outside Japan. So are these all professional dancers, actors and performers then? Not all of them are professionals, dance, professional dancers, performers. Um, some of them are like patissier or fashion designers, uh, bakers. So, like, they're not used to jump much, but I, I thought it's not the point. They all look like having fun and just the picture would look different. So if I ask you to jump, it will be really, really interesting. <laughs> well, I hope we can do that in camera <laughs> together soon. Yeah, can um, I do that? Uh, <laughs> you were due to show your photographs at an art gallery in London as part of a festival called Electric Japan, hosted by the Coronet Theatre. Um, because of COVID-19, that festival has moved online. The good news, of course, is that more people can see it and all the pictures are available to view for free, as well as some other amazing uh, Japanese theatre and uh, ballet performances. Uh, so I'll put up the link to the Electric Japan Festival in just a moment. But first of all, let me say, Mayumi Hirata, thank you very much indeed for joining us for Japan Story. Thank you, Duncan. It was nice to talk to you.